Hi guys, it's Miss Lab. So we're going to go ahead and set up our college crate. One of the websites that I really like and I think that you guys are pretty comfortable with at this point is Padlet. So go ahead and go to Padlet.com and if you don't already have an account, go ahead and sign up. Um, it asks for an email and a password. Um, this is going to turn into your login. Um, if you're not comfortable doing this and adding an email, we can come up with another solution for you. But if you are comfortable, I think this is the easiest way to uh, set up our college crate. So go ahead and log in with an email, a password, and it asks you to click I'm beautiful um, or some like random little question like that. Yours might be different, and that just ensures that you are not a robot. Um, once you've done that, just go ahead and click sign in. I already have an account, so I'm going to log in really quickly. Oh, and if I can remember my password, it would be even better. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, so I'm finally logged in. Um, so when you get to the home screen on Padlet.com, if you already have Padlets, they're going to show up here. If anyone has shared them with you, they'll post here. Um, otherwise, you can just click over here in the top right corner, New Padlet. And it starts it up for you. Um, and they usually just give you like a random blank template. You can change this, so don't worry about it. So go ahead and title yours, My college crate. And then I would just add your name right here. Um, I like the free form. It allows you to move things around. I think the grid is a little bit more um, tricky or trickier to use. Uh, so I suggest the free form, but that's up to you as you get used to Padlet. And then it gives you the option to pick a wallpaper. You'll see the one that they already selected for me. Um, or you can choose one. You can also hit more, make it really fancy. Um, let's go ahead and select the pencil one for now. That's cute. I have a whole bunch of different options. You'll see ones that I've used in the past. Oh, well, keep working. Okay, so once you've selected your wallpaper, um, go ahead and hit next. Nope. Why won't you work? Symbolize what this Padlet is about. I don't know what that is. Okay. Let's say next. Why are you not working? Okay, so go ahead and then it'll ask you um, for how you want people to be able to access it. You'll notice that mine says those with access can write. Um, this is just for me, so I'm not going to allow people to write on it. I don't want people to moderate it. I don't want people to administrate it. Um, I just want people to be able to read it. No other contributors. This is all my work. Um, I don't want people to be able to use my Padlet as a template, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm just going to hit Next. And then my Padlet's all set. It's ready for me to start posting. Okay. So on BCPS1 for today, you're going to notice that I uploaded a handful of different information sheets that I'd like you to fill out. The first one is a personal information sheet. Avid Office has this as just a way for you to kind of practice doing the college application process while you're still a junior. Um, so it's just basic information, your name, your date of birth. You don't have to put your social security number. In fact, I probably wouldn't put that on the internet just for people to see. Um, your address, your father's name, your birthplace, all those kinds of things. Um, and this is just a way for you to, again, get used to filling out these types of forms for a college uh, application. Once you post this information, I'm not going to share it with anyone, so don't be, like, concerned about that. Um, and it also has you listing the schools that you've attended. Again, just this is going to make life easier for you come college applications next fall. About a year from today, you'll be working on this. Um, so this is just a good place for you to 
practice that process and house all that information in one fell swoop. That way, when the, the going gets tough next year, you can just kind of copy and paste from here. So once you've gone ahead and you've opened that personal information sheet, you'll notice that it's a PDF, so you have to hit sign. Signing allows you to then go ahead and type on that PDF. Once you're done and you've saved it, go ahead and just like you would close program. Just like you would for a Padlet that I've created for you, go ahead and double click on the Padlet, title it personal information sheet. Ooh, I didn't spell. And then upload it like you normally would. You'll find the file in upload here, unless you're sharing it through um, OneDrive or OneNote, then you can just give me a link to it. Either way, just upload that information. That'll be a safe place for you to house it. I'm going to click it over here. The next thing you're going to find on BCPS1 is this file called um, High School and Community Activities Record. So again, like you did for the last one, it's a PDF, so you're going to hit sign. Um, and this is the way for you to record all of your activities that you've done throughout 9th and 10th grade. You'll also want to include anything that you project that you'll be a part of during your 11th grade year. So some basic things that you just looked at um, in terms of ranking yourself, but you've got your clubs and organizations, your, ath your athletics, um, if you earned any awards like uh, most improved player or captain or anything like that, definitely include that here. Um, also write down whether or not you were JV or varsity. Uh, you might not remember that come next year, so write that down now. Were you in any visual or performing arts, uh, photography club, journalism, were you in the band, um, those kinds of things. Were you in the school play, did you do, um, I don't know, lights for the play or something like that. Student government, go ahead and list if you are a part of SGA or if you have been a pa uh, part of AVID student government. Both of those things are appropriate to put in this category. Um, we don't really have JROTC or flags or drill, but if you're a part of the cheerleading squad, um, or even if you, like, I don't know, participated in, um, like, powder puff or something like that, this might be a good place for you to house that information. Because, again, senior year, your mind's going to be, like, mush, and you will have forgotten. So log that information here. Also, um, this is a place for you to do some real brag work if you've already received some honors um, or awards or if you have any other achievements that are worth noting. Um, here you could put whether or not you were an avid star student, whether or not you made honor roll, um, those sorts of things. If you have any questions about what is appropriate to, to include, again, this doesn't just have to be in school. This can be at your church or in your community. Um, definitely log that here because those things really matter, especially come scholarship time. So most of you have already finished your service learning hours. Uh, go ahead and log your volunteer work. Give at least the name of the organization and your role there. Um, I would also include, if you know it off the top of your head, how many hours you've done and the kind of work that you did. Um, were you, I don't know, volunteering at a nursing home? Were you volunteering at a soup kitchen? Was it just once a year on Christmas or Thanksgiving, or do you do it regularly? Those things matter. Um, and that will also be a really good source for your topics for your college essay when the time comes, um, that specific volunteer work. And then if there's anything that you think doesn't fit into one of those categories that we've already listed, um, add it here. Were you a part of Girl Scouts? Were you a part of Boy Scouts? Were you a part of Odyssey of the Mind or the debate team or something like that? I don't know. Um, what is it that makes your experience unique? add your own category here. Um, and again, if you have any questions, add it on there just in case. Um, but I'm also here if you want to like bounce ideas off of me. So do that in those columns for both 9th and 10th grade, and then scroll down. You'll notice that it is the same exact thing. Now for 11th and 12th grade, obviously you've not hit 12th grade yet. Next year we will use our college crate and add on to this document. Um, Right now, go ahead and include anything that's already happened for your 11th grade year. 
Um, that way you don't forget. When you're done with this, save it and just like you did before, you're going to, oh Jesus, oh boy, I don't know what I just did. Okay, just like you did before, you're going to add a category where you say um, high school activities record and then upload the document using the attachment feature that looks like a little plus sign. Okay, so once you've done those two things um, and you're done bragging about yourself, now it's time for you to set some goals. So reflect back on how you ranked yourself in those 10 different categories and you're going to use this sheet to create some goals, both long range, mid range, and short range. Um, so the short range obviously being like this week or in the next two weeks, what is your goal? What's your plan to get there? And what action steps are you going to do to make that goal a reality? Your mid-range, um, have this be more of like a quarter or yearly goal. Um, what's your plan and what steps are you going to take to get there? You can modify this. It doesn't have to just be academic. It certainly can. But you know yourself and you just rated yourself on those 10 things that you know colleges are looking for. So choose one that's most applicable to you. And then for your long-range plan, um, I want you to dream a little bit bigger for yourself. Um, think about the year as a whole. You know specifically your GPA is going to be locked in by the end of your junior year in terms of what colleges are going to see. Um, and that's kind of been a source of stress for some of you. So maybe you want to set a specific GPA goal for yourself. Um, you can do the math. Mr. Goldman taught you how to do the math. So you can make sure that you know what your plan has to be, how many A's, how many B's, how many C's, those kinds of things. Well, no C's, obviously. Um, but see what that specific plan is to attain that goal. And then you want to create your action steps. Have these be as specific as possible. You know that we're in the business of creating SMART goals. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely goals. Uh, so go ahead and write your action steps that are going to help you reach that goal because you know that you can reach it as long as you try and you set, up, set forth a, a solid plan and you follow that plan. So once you're done with, I'll set up a, a blank one of these for you. Once you've planned your three goals, your long range, your mid range, and your short range, go ahead and just like you did before, you're going to post it to the Padlet. So yours will look kind of like mine. And I'm going to label that goals junior year. And then you're going to upload it. Okay, so your Padlet should look something like this. Obviously, this is a living document. It's a breathing binder. So we are going to be adding to it. We're going to be changing it over the course of the next two years. Hope this was helpful.